Hey, your viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist, and welcome back to Real RTCW5. It's time for a brand new level. This is Malta, ladies and gentlemen. Something that I was aware was going to be added to the game for reasons that, um, well, you'll probably see in this episode, to be honest. Sergeant Crowford here is on patrol. I love the fact that it now shows up names when you mouse over allied friends and all that. So, probably a good chunk of this episode is just going to be me exploring this whole sort of area. Mission objectives, we have to receive the briefing folder in HQ, resupply at the armory. Optional objectives, visit firing range, visit medical bay. Mission 2, debriefing, classified, entered village with Kessler. Oh, that's that one. That's literally uh, the stuff we just had, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I really am looking forward to this, just seeing what this is all uh, about. Ooh, a bit of flickering there on the textures, but um, it has to be expected, you know. It's like the first iteration of something new. No doubt, uh, all VT player, etc. will, um, you know, they'll be seeking to patch any sort of bugs and things like that in due course. Um, whatever else have you. I wonder if, uh, you know, part of this, looking at the design of it, I wonder if uh, some sort of like brushwork or textures or whatever were taken from Wolfenstein enemy territory for this. Because the general sort of vibe of it does remind me a lot of, well, of, of Wolfenstein enemy territory uh, sync, uh, uh, maps. In particular, like Gold Rush, for example, the North Africa one. That's a stained glass window texture. It's really, I don't know, something gorgeous about that. I don't, I don't know why. It's a really simple thing, but I like it. What's going on, Private McMillan? Jeep's looking a bit out. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, how we end. We go to the airfield in that direction. Apparently there's a secret area in this level. Maybe we'll uh, spend a bit of time trying to find that, shall we? Who the heck is that guy? Uh, welcome to... Uh, I should probably just say Malta rather than the Malta. <laughs> this facility was created to prepare and equip OSA agents for all kinds of missions across Europe, Mediterranean and North Africa. If you want to hone your skills, go ahead and use our training facilities. If you're looking for something else, go ahead and take a stroll around the town. If you get lost, don't hesitate to ask local military personnel for help. What's the deal with the carpet shop? Has he got, uh... <laughs> he's got, uh, McVirk Dick Lieber's texture, by the looks of it. Oh, armory, through there. What's up, dude? Press an F on him, can't do anything. Oh, he's actually scrawling away a deserved little thing there. Oh, I see. He's got the armory hidden behind here. Well, we can resupply at this area. Hey, am I oh. glad to see you. It's been a while since our raid on Siwa. Me and Lieutenant were transferred here to support OSA operations. He's currently stuck with the new guys on the training course while I was put in charge of munitions and weapon logistics here at Armory. Your next task will require stealth approach. Okay. I prepare two sets of equipment for this kind of mission. Pick the one to your preference. Okay, I think, uh, yeah. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that um, one of the things that uh, is now going to be a thing in real RTCW with this update is the fact that you're going to come here to Malta, I believe, between every mission from now on, I think. So basically it's a hub world, kind of. And on top of that, you're going to be able to pick your loadout before you actually go into a mission, rather than just, you know, being sort of immediately allocated certain things. From Private Waters to OSA HQ, Topic Loadout Suggestion 2, Weapons Knife, Colt Pistol, M3 Carbine, Snooper, Delil Carbine, need an additional request, okay? So that's one of the agency weapons, um, DLC weapons. <laughs> Items, binoculars and pineapple grenades. What's uh, number one, then? Uh, loadout suggestion 1, knife, Sten SMG, Thompson SMG, Delil Carbine, okay, so hang on, what was that again? M3 Carbine, the Snooper. Okay, so we could go for a Snooper and a car, uh, Delil, or we could have, basically, um, the old Sten, Thompson, blah de blah de blah So you got to, oh, I can't pick any of these up. I see, I see. Oh, okay. Okay. Everything seems to be in order. Good oh. luck. Okay, so I've taken uh, the carbine and the um, the snooper, the Delil that is. So yeah, I can't actually now pick these up, can I? No. Okay, well I resupplied at the armory. That's pretty cool. Let's go back out here, past the old rook shop, see where else we can go. Right, is this the HQ? No. HQ is probably further on down there. Does this go anywhere? That's locked. Dost, dost thou suppose? 
There could be a secret area around here. It's just a whoop. shallow pool. Gotta remember, I've still got my kick. I can always use. <gasps> Anything in here? <gasps> okay. There must be a secret hidden around somewhere. Well, I, I know there is, but I just gotta find it, wherever it is. There's a route down there or a route up here. I just gotta figure out where the uh, HQ actually is. Ah, it's going up there. Oh, that doesn't go anywhere. Is the music telling me I can get in somewhere? There's a balcony up there. Hmm. So there's nothing over that side. I wonder. Can I do some parkour, maybe? I'm doing the classic red thing now, seeing what I can jump on. And see if I can find anything that breaks. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Is that something up there? Oh, no. Alright, hold on. It's gonna be oh, that's probably the HQ over there. Sergeant Walcroft. What's up, dude? Also I could have talked more to Waters back there, couldn't I? I should go back and actually do that. Sir. Headquarters are right ahead, sir. Colonel should be inside, Captain. Oh. Colonel, eh? Sir! Headquarters are right ahead, sir. Okay, he's, his dialogue's gonna loop, that's fine. We'll come there in a little bit. Um South District. We can just go and explore the town, I guess. Okay. Let's go and explore the town before we do anything else. Yeah, this whole episode may just be me doing this, in all honesty. Oh. I don't care, get out, you miserable drunk. Who's that? Miserable drunk? Oh, in the tavern? One eyed jacks? <laughs> Who's this guy? Can I go in there? Is he just going to wander off, this guy? Oh, look at this place, though. Looks so cool. I guess this guy's just going to wander around. Who's in here? Welcome to One Eye Jack. What can I get for you? Okay. Beer. Classic lager. Unfiltered. Croft. Dark. Mm. Oh. Can I actually... Oh. Wait, what was that? Oh. Hey. What do you think you're doing? Oops. I was listening the to that. News in England is the <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Luites. God, they've actually got like a full friggin' uh, living, breathing community over here. Can I get behind here? Oh, yes, I can. I'm sorry, Bar. bar what do you think you're doing? Back off the counter. Now. Oh. What was that? Name's Evie. Managing this tavern as best as I can. Family business, you know. Never saw you before. Are you new here? If you are looking for a place to sleep, you better check out Hotel on the opposite side of the street. Lovely place. Name's Evie. Managing this tavern as best as I can. Okay. Family business, you know. Nice to see you can actually talk to just random people. Nice that they what do you think you're doing? Back off the counter now! <laughs> Why does he make that noise when she uh, does that? It must just be something else. Is this guy just wandering around. I oh, know this is a different guy. Nice retexturing of the skin so it gets rid of his German uniform. <laughs> so you can go up here though. Oh, look at this A little terrace on the upstairs. Can we go along the wall top. Yes, we can. Oh, look at that. You can go to the shore. Hold on, wait. We'll have a look around in a second. See what else we can find. Oh, someone else is up there. Okay. Well, hang on, let me go down here. Let's have a look at the beach. And see what the deal is. Oh, this is cool. So much effort's been put into this, clearly. Hmm. Little cart. Yeah, I'm not really looking for the secret at the moment, but I'm sure we'll find it eventually. Uh, what's this over here? Oh, that feels like somewhere surely I should be able to get into. Oh, is this the shooting range over here? Oh, I can get a ton of knives. <laughs> so I can do this. Bonk. Oh, wait. Oh, look at that. It actually sticks in it. It's been programmed to do that. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Oops. He's only moved my camera as I threw it. Yeah, anyone can seriously uh, throw a knife onto a target from that range. Oh, it has drop off. Fantastic. Hold on, hold on. How high do I need to get it? Oh, need to go higher. Pretty awesome. Can I uh, pull my guns out here? No, because I can't get my load out in this area. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. 
somewhere for me to parkour up here. Yeah. Oh, be at. Careful. Hmm. Hmm. No. Okay, that's not uh, going to happen there, is it? No. It's so cool. It's so cool. How far out to sea can I swim? Oh, <laughs> not very far. <laughs> I'm not even swimming, I'm just trudging through the shallows. That's so cool, though. How's it going, dude? Come for a wander out on the shore? Okay, no. Oh, can I go through here? Maybe? Ah. There's got to be a way in there, right? I feel like that's where the secret could be. Going to the church? Or town hall, whatever it is? Mm. Through here, maybe? No. Nope. Okay, there's got to be... There's got to be secrets hidden around. I wonder if I can go back upstairs, actually. Hold on. I'll go over here, please. That sounds like an actual... Well, I was about to say an actual wartime broadcast. Maybe it is. Is it taken from archive.org or something? Who's this guy up here? Oh, the hotel keeper. Can I talk to you? Not by the looks of it. Can't take your wine bottles. Can I go inside? Oh, yes, I can. British Commonwealth of Nations? Together. Mm. Yes. Malta, a big target for a lot of German bombing in the war it was. Ooh. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Secret? It's got to be secret, right? Oh, hang on. Need to bring a chair in here, I think. <laughs> Can I get over? Oh, I can't get over. Dang it. I was convinced there had to be a secret in there. Well, never mind. <laughs> Maybe not. Sorry, I'm just moving real chairs around. Ooh. Hold up. I just picked up a key. What for? Is there, a, is there a secret in here? A room, perhaps? I didn't actually even check. No, it doesn't even have a number on it. Hmm. Can't go through there. Up here, maybe. Ooh, oh, hello. Who, <laughs> whose room have I just entered? Oh. Uh. Oh, I can turn that on. Oh, look at that. That's a nice picture. Very Italian looking street. Or Maltese street. Beautiful. Oh. oh, there's a letter here. Oh, this is my room. To Captain Blaskovich from Malta HQ. Oh, hello. Make a note of the name of who this has been sent by, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to meet him in a second. In this letter, we inform you that this apartment is reserved for your use during your stay in Malta. We'll keep a watchful eye while you're away, so there is no need to be concerned about anyone sneaking in. If you have any questions, please address them directly to HQ. Colonel C. Redford. Oh, got a balcony. He's a fancy sweet digs. Is the bathroom? Yes, it is. Wait. <laughs> I can just do that. And turn on the sink. Yes, I can. What's this here? Oh, is that like, supposed to be the light switch? Oh, we don't want to do anything with that. Right, so. Key. Oh, is there something behind there? No. I thought there was a clipboard behind that flak jacket. Okay, the key must have been for up here then, right? For this apartment. I'm imagining, unless it goes somewhere else. Which it could very well do. Well, Mr. Hotel Keeper, thank you for that. Can I go through here? Locked. There has to be something somewhere where I can get in. Can get in here. Oh! Who's you? Cor uh, yeah, Corporal Gibson. Hello. Can I talk to Corporal Gibson? Captain? Sorry, Captain. I have to stay on my post. Do you need anything, sir? Captain? Okay. Love the amount of, sort of looping dialogue. Britain and America have two million tons more shipping today than in August 1942. Yes, probably thanks to the old, uh, what was it called? Was it the Liberty ship? The one that, um, it was like basically a, a very simple sort of cargo ship design that American shipyards could produce. I think the record for building one was about two weeks. The quickest time they've managed to do one. One of the beauties of having a massive economy on your side in any sort of war. South District. Ah, wait a minute. Whoa, this place. Fancy. Britain expects that you two this day will do your duty. Oh, God, they put so much effort in here. Sergeant McTavish. Captain? Sorry, Captain, I have to stay on my post. Oh, it's the same dialogue. Do you need anything, sir? Oh, there's a little port area I can go through into. I don't want to hurry, but we need to get that crane working until morning. So you better make this thing work ASAP. Well, Corporal Blackwell, can I talk to you? Nope. Look at the little boat model. Mm. See, this is a big map. The secret could be 
in any number of locations. Oh, the boat even uh, moves in the water. You see that? That tiny little movement. Look at the bank, the wharf. You see the way the boat's moving. It's pretty awesome. It's like a little physical effect in a real-world physics and all that. Works very, very well. I'm going to the little crane. Well, not quite, but sort of. Oh, God, where do you think the secret would be in this here level? Ooh. Wait a minute. It's this. This is going to be HQ, right? Something like that. Feels like it. Well, Private Captain? Doyle. Captain? Sorry, Captain. I have to stay on my post. Oh, training facility. And go over here. Should we do that? Oh. Okay, they're sending an elevator up. Might as well do this while we're here. Do you need anything, sir? Preferably some guns, but uh, that should be fine. Oh. There we go. Take me downstairs to the training area. We'll see what it looks like. Yeah, because that's uh, I guess the training area is somewhere down here. It's the firing range, I guess. That's probably what it means. Right. Aha! Look at this place. Lieutenant McDermott is in the next section. Welcome to the training facility. We will guide you through our new Oops. course. I accidentally triggered there two lines of dialogue there. Sorry, Captain, but you can't take those weapons outside this facility. Oh, yeah, it's literally just this area. Okay, right, so... We've actually been here already. Good to know. Well... Done. <laughs> There's my training done, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there we go. Okay, well, we've, we've seen this already. There's no need for me to do this again. All right, we'll head up. Back up to the surface. I assume there's not much else down there to see, right? Shoot, maybe I should have actually properly examined it. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. No, take me back downstairs. Let me, let me be thorough about this. <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gents. It's not far down, though. I'm not waiting for long, that's fine. Right. Sorry, Sergeant Evans. Decided I needed to come back in very, very quickly. And get to all my special ammo. Got my Ithaca again, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna load up this bad boy. There we go, that's better. Right. Just in case I decide I want to do some shooting. So, the American flag over here doesn't do anything. The American flag door, even. Oh, you're up there. Was there another door in here? Ah, it doesn't go anywhere. Hey, Captain, welcome back to the course. I just want to test something. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, yeah, he did it for science, okay? Poor old Lieutenant McDermott. I apologise. Hold on, let me quick load and bring him back to life. I do apologise. So that's what happens. Basically, you get arrested by military police. Fantastic. Good to know. <laughs> and the mission thus ended there, ladies and gentlemen, after Blazkowicz shot up his superior. <laughs> Damn, how did that miss from that range? Right, let's go. There's nothing else to see in here. Other than the fact that you can apparently uh, commit fratricide. <laughs> you can frag your superior officers. Good to know. Right, let's uh, get on out of here. Thank you for the training facility. That was uh, good stuff. Thank you. All right, let's keep uh, examining this whole area. Uh, what's going on up here, Private Griffin? Not going to say anything? Can't go over there. Nope. Anything down here? Uh, pallets. Oh. Hello. Cannot pick that up. Uh... Someone coming to uh, answer the phone? Yeah, I definitely can't interact with it. Oops, I actually pressed G. Okay, I can kick the phone instead. <laughs> well, guess that's the little harbour master's uh, office, right? No one's there to uh, pick that up, so... Well, just have to let it ring off, won't we? How far out can I swim? Okay, now I'm probably swimming. What's that over there? <gasps> That'll go a little... Oh, it's just a texture. It looked like it was lit up. That's all. Okay, found the edge. Found the edge. Right. Ah, get out over here. God, I freaking love this. This is so well made. You know, considering that it's basically a bunch of RTCW fans who've built this. It's pretty damn good. Now, what's this about? 
Ooh. Can I destroy that? With my foot? Ha. Huh. Interesting that... Well, I need grenades or something in order to deal with that, but it's locked as well. It says that you can definitely destroy this thing. Hang on. If I go back and go and grab some uh, freaking nades, I'll launch this. Let's explore over here first. Sure, we can go in here, right? Ah, HQ, maybe? Some kind of storage. What the fuck? Is that just me rustling through the trees? Sergeant Jolly. <laughs> Welcome to our humble little museum, Captain. Ah. We're going to keep an eye out. Don't you worry, Captain. Colonel says that we are going to transport all those goods to England very soon. Just need to make sure that skies are safe. Welcome to our humble little museum, Captain. Okay, let's go for a stroll around the museum. Nothing in that one. Oh, look. <laughs> what would this be? Item 4311, the Tagger of Warding, retrieved March 1943. The Tagger of Warding is a mysterious Thulean artifact found in the Wolfburg Church. It was supposedly uh, crafted by the ancient Thule weaponsmith Olaric. The Tagger's blade is adorned with mystic engravings and symbols. The symbols represent elements of the Thule's spiritual beliefs, including animals, celestial bodies, and ancestral spirits. Okay. Interesting. Oh, look. <laughs> a lot of gold bars just left out. Is that friggin', uh picture of what's his face mount batten right i'm sure it's him what just people now say uh red you're completely wrong i've just completely failed to recognize a key figure from britain in world war ii well obviously we know who this is it's freaking churchill big chalice there that's really interesting do you think these will fill up as we find objects maybe i should be finding secrets okay what a weird and interesting little uh, addition. Pretty good. Alright. Anything through here? Nope. Private counts. Anything else around here? Or is it literally just the museum? Oh, it feels like I should be able to parkour my way upstairs. Love the uh, architecture in this area. Very gorgeous. Very good looking. Right, hang on. If I go... Wait, no, it was this way. What are we doing? Back through to the South District. And find where the knives were located again. They were back down here. If I come back, I can sort of check locked doors, because I still... Do I still have that key? Or was that literally for my apartment room? I get the feeling it was probably for the apartment, wasn't it? Knives? Oh. Oh, well, never mind. I can't get my knives out again. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I thought maybe come back down here would trigger them once more, but... Nah, doesn't seem like that's a thing. All right, well, we've got more to explore, though, in the town, ladies and gents. More to... Ooh. Wait. Can one get in there? How does one get in there? There's going to be much more stuff in around. It's all like these locked doors that I feel like we should be able to get through to some way. Yeah, it's just a tavern. Hang on. I, I'm, I'm going to be spending plenty of time just going over many surfaces. Just looking to see what I can locate. Right. This is obviously the way we came over here. Obviously this was going back to the main sort of area. Yeah, through here. South District through there. And obviously the uh, headquarters is through there. We'll, we'll go up to that in a bit. We're not going to do that yet. We're going to explore what else there is. Because there's still a bit to the town to have a look at just yet. So i got to find what's, what the deal is with this place. Alright, through again. Oh, everything blinking a little bit there, but that's fine. Um, yeah, this way, up here. Let's deal with this way. There's something down here, down this alley. Let me see. Oh. Thought that surely would be a door that opens, but guess not. What's that? Spooky spirit? Oh, hey. You doing alright in there? Just chilling? Okay, there's a creepy ghost woman. Little Easter egg. Is he killing time? Or killing Nazis? Spares may decide. <laughs> well, okay. Exhorting people to make sure they do their job properly. Ooh. Look at this area down here. Medical bay. This is an optional one. Hiya. Corporal Hobbins. Greetings, Captain. Corporal Hobbins at your service. I'm assisting Dr. Kovlov here. 
Despite his heavy Russian accent, we're getting along just fine. Dr. Kovlov might not be the most pleasant fellow you met, but he's okay. Believe me. Okay. I'm sure we'll talk to him in a moment. Captain? Dr. Kovlov is currently in charge of adrenaline oh. research. He studied the sample you brought, and he's intent to improve it. Okay. Uh, adrenaline infusion device AID. Technical overview. Uh, it's a specialised medical instrument designed to facilitate the controlled administration of adrenaline in high-stress situations, particularly during combat scenarios. Physiological responses, M1 sample. Increased regeneration process, improved stamina. Okay. So it is worth us coming through here. Alright, then, Doctor. How goes it? Uh, Dmitry Ivanovich uh, Kovlov from Sergei. Dear Dmitry, hope this message finds you in good health. I'm reaching out from my wanderings in Europe, driven by a discovery that's too significant to ignore. I've stumbled upon a Latin manuscript related to the Thor civilization, potentially pointing to an artifact near Eisenstadt. I was about to say Kovlov, of course, because there's a Sergei Kovlov in Wolfenstein 2009, so it's setting up the, the link. Interesting. Despite our differences, I'm turning to you. Your mastery of Latin is unparalleled, and this manuscript is a challenge that I believe only you can conquer. It's an opportunity to bridge our worlds, the empirical and the mystical. I understand your scepticism towards my path, but I ask you to look beyond it and see the potential of this discovery. I implore you, brother, to help me decipher this text. Your expertise could unlock secrets of the past that have remained hidden for millennia. Let's set aside our disagreements for a moment of unity in pursuit of knowledge. Eagerly awaiting your response, please send response and manuscript the same way you received it. Okay, they're already talking about uh, something that's going to appear in Wolfenstein 2009. Dr. Kov Kovlov? Please, do not touch anything here. I see you've got uh, McVerkdick Lieber's kind of facial texture. Sorry, Captain, I'm too busy right now. Go bother someone else. If you need any syringes, you can take them in the next room. Corporal will help you out. Please, do not touch anything here. Sorry, Captain, I'm too busy right now. Okay. Go bother someone else. Yeah, he's, he's nice enough. What is that picture on the wall? Is that... Is that, um... Oh, I've seen that picture before. That's, um... Uh, it's... Is it Shub... Shub Nigurath? The, um... It's from H.P. Lovecraft. It's, the, it's an elder god. Something like that. Do they call it the goat with a thousand young? Or something? It's been a while since I've uh, read any H.P. Lovecraft stories that featured this particular monstrosity. But yeah, I'm sure I've seen that picture before. It looks familiar. Watching someone now comments below saying, uh, that's not what it is, Red. Call yourself a Lovecraft fan. Because <laughs> I do like my uh, Lovecraft stories, things like that. Um, yeah, we came from that direction. Wasn't there. This is just another way to the HQ. Uh, South District, that way. Oh, wait a minute. We've just gone in a circle, haven't we? Yeah, 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 yeah we have. All right. Enough uh, beating around the bush. It's probably time for me to uh, go in and uh, <laughs> meet the one character who I've been really looking forward to actually meeting. Oh, that's a classic uh, Second World War British propaganda poster. You do your best church in person. Where is he? Where's Redford? Where is he at? He's in here somewhere. Archive? Ooh. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, Blaskovich. Oh, check that out. Agent Dossier William Joseph Blaskovich, male 1911, USA, height and weight there, status alive. Blaskovich is a supremely skilled soldier. He was an Army, uh, US Army Ranger prior to being tapped to serve with the OSA. Though his effectiveness with weapons and combat are beyond criticism, we're concerned that his self reliance could lead to him pursuing unauthorized objectives. Notable service record Operation Torch, Sewer Oasis Assault, Tobruk Heist, Razel Hadid, Operation Cursed Sands. Yeah, Sewer Assault. Um, and of course, Tobruk Ice as a reference, isn't it, to uh, enemy territory? So uh, definitely tying in the uh, enemy territory single player. So, so yeah, that basically makes a timeline in terms of the enemy territory single player add-on is meant to take place before the events of RTCW. Then, and Ra's Al Hadid, of course, is the uh, the uh, North Africa mission that is only part of the console versions of RTCW. Yeah, Webley, Agent One, Frank Webley. 1908, UK, speaks quite a few languages, killed in action, of course, because he died under interrogation. Frank Webley, codenamed Agent 1, was born into a family with a long history of military service. His father had been a decorated officer in World War I, and his mother had served as a nurse in the same conflict. Growing up in a military environment, Webley developed a deep sense of duty and patriotism from an early age. As Agent 1, 
Yeah, he underwent extensive training in cryptography, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and infiltration techniques. He also became, uh, became fluent in multiple languages, making him, uh, making him rather. Sorry, it's late in the evening, ladies and gents. It's been a long day at work. Probably going to fumble a few lines. Uh, making him an ideal candidate for missions deep behind enemy lines. His ability to blend seamlessly into different environments and adapt to the most challenging situations set him apart from other operatives. Interesting. Oh, Kessler. He's here. Rudolf Kessler. Uh, born 1895. Uh, through years of covert work, Kessler has established a network of contacts and informants that provide us with invaluable insights into the enemy's activities. His connections within the German resistance are indispensable. Kessler's first-hand knowledge of trench warfare from World War I has endowed him with a unique perspective on combat. This experience has honed his skills and cultivated his dedication to the cause. Uh, von Bülow, or Helga. I was wondering if Karl Villegut would have uh, an entry in here, but... Guess not. Okay. Here she is, Helga von Bülow. Um, SS Standartenführer. As head of the SS Paranormal Division and a dedicated disciple of the High Priestess Mariana Blavatsky, Helga von Bülow's journey into the occult was marked by a relentless pursuit of knowledge and power. While von Bülow had absorbed much from her mentor, she possessed a natural impetuosity that often set her apart from the more measured members of the Paranormal Division. One defining moment in von Bülow's career was a participation, uh, participation in the infamous Holstein incident of 1939, during, uh, during which she lost one of her eyes. Yeah. Mm. Okay, it's really going to fill out with more entries, isn't it? Every time we uh, complete a mission. There's Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Churchill. Hmm. Right. Oh. <laughs> Who's this down here? Wait, 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 wait. Germans rush more men from North Italy, enemy in full retreat. Monty forces breach on the 25 mile front. The 8th Army in North Africa. Algiers, yeah. <laughs> we can hear General Clemson. <laughs> he plans US raids on Europe. The promotion of Brigadier General Frederick L. Something, Commanding General of the Eighth. Oh, that's uh, something else entirely. <laughs> so, what a what a weird little reference. Oh, Wolfie T player found alive. <laughs> okay, he is alive. Yeah, people probably thought he was uh, dead, you know. The amount of time he's probably, you know, bunkered away in his room trying to program this to get it out. Oh, Colonel Redford. Oh, God. Who was that? Hello, hello. <laughs> you sound very familiar. Who might you be? Now this is going to be <laughs> this is going to be a very um, <laughs> awkward moment here, where you know that thing they talk about in um, in sort of YouTube circles in relation to you know when you um, when you sort of do auditory content for the first time. And you know, you you always think you you have a kind of uh, very very deep voice, you know, like that. But then you actually you know listen to your voice back, and it's actually really high pitched, and <laughs> you think, oh my god, is that what I sound like? I feel like we're about to have that moment, ladies and gentlemen. The Rhine, the vessel. Hmm. Interesting map that you got there on the uh, on the friggin' wall there, Colonel Redford. <laughs> nice uh, bookshelves though. Very neatly ordered. Captain William Blaskovitz, I presume. My name is Colonel Charles Redford. I am in charge of the British garrison here. I have been ordered to provide all necessary assistance to OSA operations in Malta. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to ask me directly. Now, about your mission. I have been told that your task is to sabotage the V-2 complex in Katamurundi and take possession of the newest German rocket plane. You will be paradropped in the nearby forest. After that, you are on your own. There's an OSA transport plane waiting for you at the airfield. You can transport. learn the mission details in this sealed folder on your way there. In the meantime, we will prepare the airstrip for your return. Godspeed, Captain. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh man, it's funny kind of listening that <laughs> listening back to that. It's like having a weird conversation with myself. What's going on? <laughs> That's what I sound like. Oh, I said, oh. I got the dossier. There we go. The reefing folder. Fantastic. Can I actually look at it? Or I guess it's not a thing, is it? No. Can't actually look at that. Well, there you go. So you got that Mount Batten portrait on the wall. You should have uh, other lines of dialogue, though, right? Colonel? <laughs> yeah, I think he's, uh, by the looks of it, using um, a very similar texture to Higgs in the uh, OSA headquarters uh, briefing scenes, the default ones. That is a hell of a mission for one man. I sure hope the OSA folks know what they are doing sending you there alone. 
I see you've got a big uh, stash of whiskey over here. <laughs> Hope you're not getting drunk on the job there, me. <laughs> Don't forget to resupply in the armory. Private Waters will help you out. Already one step ahead of you, me. It is a real shame what happened to Agent One. I knew Frank personally. Never thought he would end up like that. Indeed, indeed, it is tragic. It is, it is tragic, me. <laughs> Blazkowicz. That is a hell of a oh, mission right, for one Luke's man. Of course, yeah. I sure hope the OSA folks know what they are doing, sending you there alone. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. Me. It's me. I'm talking to me. And it's freaking me out. I'm trying to get out of there. <laughs> oh, God. Worst voice actor in the game. There we go. Right. Um, I need to remember actually where the way to the airfield was. Uh, we could keep exploring. It wasn't back up this way. It, oh yeah, it was the guy by the jeep, wasn't it? It was back over there. Okay, there wasn't anything else over here. I still haven't found the secret, though. That's the only thing. I need to figure out, figure out where it is. Oh, it feels like it's got to be around somewhere. Where have I not seen it? Mm. Is there any? Oh, that's just one of the doors that you can't go through. I think some of the doors, I think, just have the hand icon on, on them anyway. To obviously, you know, give the impression that maybe there's something through there, but actually, no, it's just locked. Okay, so we could just sort of head on. But I need to find this bloody secret, otherwise it's going to drive me mad. So, what I may do is take a jump cut here, ladies and gents, and see where we go. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. I know this was this area that may have something in it. It just seems interesting that there's a room here with nothing in there. Something with a cross, maybe? No, not by the looks of it. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think... Possibly, we need a jump cut whilst I have a look around. So, one second, everybody. <laughs> Hold up, I've got an idea. I've got an idea, ladies and gents. Can I do... Oh, yeah, yeah, I can get on top of the parasol. You don't suppose I can make that jump? It's a bit far. Um, wish me luck there, hotel keeper. Oh. Yeah, I'm just... I, I've got to... Yeah, I still haven't found the secret yet. There's obviously that room down there, which I'm not sure how you get into a way around to it. Yeah, I, I got to experiment. That's what I got to do. I just see what kind of works. <laughs> Ooh, <coughs> nearly. God, that took a lot of my health off. Hold on. Let me quick load. Uh, what if? What if? Hang on. What if? What if I <laughs> do this? Hold on. Hold on. This is not. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Oh. <coughs> okay, I sort of got on there, but not quite. It bounced me off. Because I think there was an invisible wall. Okay, maybe that's not it. Okay, one more, one more try, one more shot. <laughs> ah, huh. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Let me on. And wait, take it to save. <laughs> okay, missed. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Oops. Someone take message to Colonel Redford. Captain Blazkowicz is unfortunately dead. And when you know, if he ever asks why or how. Just say, I don't know. He was trying something really weird with a chair, a parasol, and a church roof. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's slippy. Oh, it's slippy. It's made of ice. Okay, I don't think we can stay on that. That's not it. Okay, right, there's got to be uh, something else then. Come on. No. Okay, that doesn't work either. Just gotta try everything. That's all. Can we get up here? Well, it is solid, but it doesn't look like there's anything up there. Okay, never mind. Not that either. Anything else? So, uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. Hmm. No, it doesn't look like there's a way up here, does it? Nah. See, there is a balcony above there. I suppose... No, I doubt it. No, there's no way that'll work. Unless... No, because it's too low. No, no, what am I thinking? That can't be it either. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oops. God. So I threw my chair away. It must have hit the stair blow and uh, destroyed itself. Hang on a sec. Uh, 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 has he found it? Maybe. Oh, shit. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, bollocks. Hang on. Let me just quick load and get my health back. Right. Let's try this again. 
let me up. So, where do we want to go from here? Onto the windowsill? Oh, e ah, oh, oh. Okay. N not quite. Uh, hmm. There's got to be a reason why this is here. Because why would you let, um, why would you let your player climb up if there's nothing actually up here to do? Or anything like that? Hang on. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Hold on. Maybe I can bring this up with me. Do something very special. If I go like that. Can I? Uh, hold on, hold on. Can I? Uh. No, that doesn't work. Huh. There's got to be a reason why you can come up here. Right? Has to be a reason for it. Because why else would you allow that? In your map design. Unless. 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 Hurt. Ooh. Okay, no, that didn't work. Just thinking, can I get on top of the uh, gate or something? That's something I can do. Ooh, hold on. Ooh. Ooh. Nearly had it. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, nope, not like that. Hold on, hold on. You had a penny for every time I said, <coughs> ouch, housers. Okay, let me just quick load. Hold up, hold up. Oh, private counts. Sorry, where are you, private counts? You're over there. There you are. You're still patrolling around, aren't you? Dutifully. Ooh, right, we're on. Okay. So now that I'm here, that does me precisely... No good. Shoot. Huh. Oh, why is that there, then? If it doesn't lead to anything. Hmm, unless it is literally just a thing. It's to lure you, you know, I don't know, lure you off the track, I'm not sure. There has to be a reason for it, though. I don't know like there's anything up there. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Hold it. Hold up. Hmm. Oh, I thought for a second sure it was going to land on there and I could, like, jump on it and then jump over that shutter. But no, that's not going to happen. Hurt. Ooh. Unless I can jump up somewhere. I'm not sure I can. <laughs> just ignore what I'm doing there, Private Counts, okay? Let me just quick load, get my chair back. My special chair. Oh, wait a minute. Something with a fountain, maybe. Hold on. Hold up, hold up. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, mm, e e hold on. Can I grab hold of it? Oh, there we go. Oops. Oh, bollocks. Didn't mean to do that. I was pressing the wrong button when I was trying to pick it up. Alright, just just ignore me. Private counts. <laughs> just doing some important science. That's all I'm doing. Video game science. Right, we're on here now. Mm, do you think if I... <laughs> oh, uh, right... It's going to be awkward, mm. but... Oh, God, I need to throw it down without picking it back up. Mm. Aha! Like that. Anything up there? Do you think I can uh, jump across onto that? Yes, I can. I can get up here. Okay, there's an alternative way. Is there anything here, though? Uh, I don't think there is. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's just one of those gargoyle, weird, cupid, baby faces. What's the deal with the Cupid babies? Right, uh, let's go over this way. Wait, careful. Ah, I know, it's just a dormer window. wonder what that was for a second. Is there really nothing up here? I, uh, okay, I'm, I'm in the wrong area then, it appears. That was... nothing. That was not the secret. I don't suppose it was something to do with this, dear. Or was this actually just an Easter egg? I, mean, I don't see a way into it. Can't like, break the bars or anything. I swear to God, if it's um, <laughs> something really simple, as in you just need to break a banner somewhere, that will be an absolute masterstroke. Because, of course, here's me probably overthinking it. There's still no sign of a secret. This was the medical bay. Oh, wait. See, I feel like that could be the place. How do we get up there? Is there a way up there? There has to be a friggin' way up, right? Just need to figure out what it is. God, how much effort do you think went into making this this level? It's so detailed and there's so much. Because the thing is, 
you know, so much effort clearly has gone into it in the fact that these buildings, you know, they're not just kind of like big, long, flat cube buildings. They're buildings with all kinds of shape to them. Lots of like, you know, depth and like protruding parts and all kinds of like different textures, things like that. Which is a sign of, you know, pretty good sort of uh, artistic design. Right, hang on, let me try and figure this out if there is a solution to it. Okay, right, so I use my chair. I can literally jump onto this Apotheca sign. Then I can jump up. Can I... Oh, bollocks. Hold on. Mm. Throw that down again. Can I get from the Apotheca sign... Oh, this thing above me is a bit of a... Oh, wait. No. Oh, ah, eat. Oh, hold on. Hold on. This might be possible. But I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't think it is possible, actually. Unfortunately, yeah, there's kind of a lip above that that sticks out. That's not going to work. Unless mm. I do it from this side. Oh, hold on. <laughs> no, that's not happening. Can I? No, I can't jump high enough for that one. That's not it. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Partly I am doing this just because I love to sort of <laughs> parkour in this and just see what I can get away with. You know what I'm like. I really feel like there's got to be something over here, though. Just, it just feels odd to have this little alcove with not really anything in it. And to have all these doors that have hand icons but are currently locked, unless they're going to unlock later on. I'm not sure. Oh, gosh. Right, I've been at this probably for about 40 minutes now, this level. Can't really keep going for much longer. Sergeant Walcroft, do you have any ideas, buddy? Any thoughts? Redford, are you hiding something in here? I mean, you've got the archive. And you just got this. You got anything? Don't forget to resupply in the armory. Private Waters will help you out. Nope. The answer is that I don't have any clues for me. Me have no clues for I. For I am Redford, me. Me is Red and Redford. <laughs> what am I doing? Right. Where, where the heck is this secret? I am not sure. You don't suppose it's like a secret that maybe we can't access yet? Because I'm pretty sure we will be coming back here later. Well, I say pretty sure. I know for a fact we are going to come back here. Because when I uh, got contacted by Wolfie T player about voice acting the part of Colonel Redford, those weren't the only lines he had me record. He also had me record a, uh, a bunch of other lines that would purportedly be, you know, part of briefings for the subsequent missions. So... We definitely are going to be coming back to this level at some point. So maybe that's it. Maybe the secret just isn't accessible yet. I'm not sure. Would they do that? Would they make that a thing? I'm not sure. I just really feel like... Hmm. I'm sorry, Hotel Keeper. I just destroyed one of your things. Ah. So, there's nothing in here, right? No, it's just a empty room. Just crates in it. Back behind the uh, desk? No. Ah, okay. And number five definitely doesn't open. Well, I don't think there's much else to do. Other than say, okay, maybe uh, maybe someone could give me a clue as to where exactly this secret might be located. Don't spoil it. Just give me a clue. Or indeed, if I... If, as I've sort of hypothesised, if it's a secret that we can't actually access yet, we have to wait until we come back here at a later point, then just let me know that. And um, let me know, you know, if it, if it is one that unlocks uh, at a later date when you come back here, let me know after which mission it is that it's accessible, if that is indeed the case. So that way I know when to really be sort of properly looking for it. But yeah, um, what we should do actually is go to um, the route onward to the airfield and actually just move on rather than sort of ending it in the middle of this level. So hold on, let me go over here. I'm just going to bring my chair with me. My favourite chair. I'm going to throw it away over there. There we go. Macmillan, it is time for me to get out 13 attempts. <laughs> 13 attempts at a level that you can't really even die on. I somehow managed it. Oh, there's my snooper. Boom. Got my lowdown. So that means we're going to start with the snooper and with the Delil. 
instead of having to actually find the snooper, I guess. Okay, well, let's get in here. Mission 3, Weapons of Vengeance. That screenshot is very... I probably actually commented that before, because I think that was in Real Art CW4 as well, that background. That's clearly taken from Wolfenstein The New Order towards the start of the game when you're on the uh, aircraft flying in to attack Death Ted's compound. Here we go, see, I've got my snooper. So, uh, yeah, that's not even an uh, objective now. God, so much effort has gone into this. Fantastic. And where's my Dalil? It was on... Uh, that's eight. It was... Oh, it's on four. There it is. So I've got a proper stealth weapon now. Could have obviously taken the, uh, the old Sten, but, you know... If the uh, Agency Weapons Pack DLC weapons are now an option, might as well freaking use them, right? And all that. This definitely feels like it's been uh, retextured a bit. But uh, something that is interesting, actually, that I think um, obviously you will notice is the fact that there's now 3D plants in the environment, which makes the, uh, well, basically makes the environment look a little less flat, which is great. And I'm pretty sure Wolfie T player's intention is to add more of that. All right, that's enough guessing from me. This uh, episode's been going on for nearly an hour worth it. So join me for the next mission. We'll try and we'll try and sort of speed run through that. The ones I'm really looking forward to though are the mission after this one uh, in Kugelstadt and the factory and then obviously the Norway mission at the X-Labs because apparently they've had new stuff added to them. So yeah, Jim also commented actually on one of the episodes saying it would be it would be really awesome. He'd really love to join for the uh, Norway mission. So I'll definitely see if I can get him involved for that one at the very least. So, uh, yes, I will say, Jim, if you if you're able to join me, don't spoil anything. But uh, you will probably find it very entertaining, especially if we do manage to find an opportunity to get together on Discord and record that episode together. So, yeah, thanks for the links down below, along with the link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. Blah, blah, blah. You all know the drill. I've done my outro a million and one times before. And you know what? Part of me is getting sick of uh, repeating that same outro over and over again because it sounds, you know... It sounds so cliche and stereotypical, doesn't it? He'll like the video, comment and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why as I'm doing that, I'm making a peace sign with my fingers and doing the anime pose near my face. I don't even have a face cam, you can't even see me doing that. Why the fuck am I doing that? Alright, see you everybody in the next one. Goodbye. Missing? What do you mean, missing? You were supposed to check in hours ago. Our plans have now changed. You'll be accompanying us back into Innsmouth, Mr. Walters, on a small-scale raid. Our target... Marsh Refiner. I'm not your lap dog, Hooper. I don't work with the girl. Hey, don't you freaking try to electrocute me again, you bastard. Oh, oh you bastard. <laughs>— I'm not in the business of making requests, Mr. Walters. Or have you forgotten your past so quickly? A signature here, a signature there. Ooh. We can make you a permanent fixture of this delightful establishment. — So you're blackmailing me. — I could even me. arrange for you to have your old room back.